blessings everyone good night welcome to you all glory be to god i trust you have a great and awesome wednesday i trust that you all reach make it home safe in the mighty name of jesus christ and our topic for today is what is the bema seat of christ hallelujah to the lamb of god dear merciful and righteous father we thank you for another day we thank you for a breath of fresh air we thank you for keeping us alive so we are still standing on your premise promises we thank you have a father for everything that you have done and all that you are still doing in our life hallelujah to the lamb of god we bless your name lord we bow before you because you are holy lord god strong and mighty in battle glory be to god you are the alpha the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last hallelujah glory be to god for you alone are god you are awesome may your name be glorified magnified and honored in the earth glory be to god i love you have a father thank you for everything glory be to god be with us on this live let teaching be easy in the mighty name of jesus christ glory be to god hallelujah and the judgment seat of christ the bema seat of christ accords at the time immediately following the translation of the church rapture glory be to god and you'll see it in first thessalonians 4 verse 14 on to 17 glory be to god and first corinthians 15 verse 51 to 52 glory be to god the place of the bema seat of christ is placed hallelujah in the safar of the heavenlies glory be to god there are two primary passage for the interpreting of the judgment seat of christ romans 14 verse 10 and second corinthians 5 verse 10 hallelujah the two greek terms translate judgment seat in these passage are be mati and be matos glory be to god glory be to god greek english and lexicon of the new testament we can find the following definition for be seat a step place and two the raised place mounted by the steps a platform tribon used of the official seat of the judges you'll see that in Matthew 27 verse 19 and John 19 verse 13 and Acts 18 12 to 16 of the judgment seat of Christ Romans 14 verse 10 and 2nd Corinthians 5 verse 10 glory be to god in these two passages romans 14 and 2 corinthians verse 5 the terms of the, the judgment seat is used of the divine tribunal before which all believers are hereafter to stand in romans 14 10 it is called the judgment seat of christ the judgment bema seat or the judgment seat of christ hallelujah to the lamb of god according to the most authentic man described the same tribunal is called the judgment seat of christ in 2 corinthians 5 verse 10 to whom the father has given all judgment in john 5 verse 22 to 27 glory be to god they at this hallelujah at this bema believers are to be made manifest 
that each may receive the things done in or through the bodies according to what he has done whether it be good or bad there they will receive rewards for their faithfulness to the Lord for all that has been contrary hallelujah in their lives to his will they will suffer loss of reward first corinthians 3 verse 15 glory be to the lamb of god excuse me saints from second corinthians 5 verse 10 and john 5 22 and the romans and romans 14 verse 10 we are called that the judge at the bema seat of christ is christ himself yes one day all the dead will be raised to stand before christ the save through the rapture to the bema judgment and the unsaved through the final resurrection hallelujah and the unsaved through the final resurrection to the great white throne the bema seat also called the white throne of judgment glory be to god john 5 verse 29 and romans 14 verse 10 to 12 and revelation 20 11 glory be to god the judgment of believers only those who are born again believe will stand before the bema seat of christ second corinthians 5 1 to 19 the purpose of the bema seat is to make a public manifestation of the essential characters and motives of the individual christians glory be to god the believers works are brought into judgment called the things done in his body second corinthians 5 verse 10 in order that it may be determined whether they are good or bad or they do good deeds or bad deeds the judgment is not to determine what he hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god ethically good or evil but rather that which is acceptable and that which is worthless unprofitable to the work of christ glory be to god every man's work shall be made manifest first corinthians 3 verse 13 to 15 while it is possible to hide the truth hallelujah quality of one's service for christ in this life there will be a tie of reckoning for the christians there is coming a time when all will be openly displayed for what one's true motives were glory be to god results of the christian judgment the result of, of the christian judgments are two two folds one the reward received or two the reward lost glory be to god and when you get reward god will say well done my humble servant or if you lost god will say get thee behind me because i know you not glory be to god so you choose which side you're on if a man work remains undamaged by the fire accordingly he receive reward in the greek word is mythos if a man work does not endure and is consumed in the fire then he shall suffer lost hallelujah everything he has devoted himself in this life 
those things done in his own strength and for his own glory shall be burnt up suddenly but he himself shall be saved yet so as by fire glory be to god first corinthians 3 verse 15 it is important to notice that such a man does not suffer the loss of his salvation but the loss of reward the stress is not on a man's relationship to Christ but upon the service to Christ Liberty Bible glory be to God hallelujah to the Lamb of God glory hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb of God Glory, glory, glory. The concept of the Bema seat comes from the ancient Olympics where the judge would sit on the Bema seat, that is God. Glory be to God. At the finish line, the judge purpose was to determine what the position of the runner comes in first glory be to god a second and so on and then to give out an appropriate reward that is imagery behind what is known as the be my seat glory be to god any man built on his foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, his work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. Hallelujah. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of that man's work. If what he has built survive, he will receive his reward but what, what if it was burnt then he lost all there is some debate as to the exact timing of the bema seat glory be to god hallelujah to the lamb of god glory to your holy name The judgment seat is it is written as surely as alive say the Lord every knee will bow before me every tongue will confess to God so then each of us will give an account of himself to God every tub will sit on his own bottom part of this judgment is answering for the sin we commit Hallelujah. At the same time, I do not think judgment is going to be the focus of the Bema seat. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, Paul gave the Corinthians churches, church an illustration of the Bema seat for we must all appear before the judgment seat of God of Christ that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while in the body in the flesh saints I told you we are just pilgrim passing through this land glory be to God and we must make hay while the sun shine glory be to God time wait on no one there will be no repentance in the grave so while you're in this body make sure you are right with the lord whether good or bad deeds paul is teaching us that the apostle paul is teaching us that all christian will stand before the bema seat of christ at the bema seat jesus christ will be the light or the judge every deed good or bad that each believer has done on earth since he or she become a Christian 
every Christian will be rewarded based on his words, deeds, and faithfulness. Glory be to God. Saints, what do you think? We have all sinned, deserve God's judgment. God, the Father, sent his only Son to sa satisfy the judgment for those who believe in him. Jesus, Jesus, the Creator, the eternal Son of God, who lived a sinless life, loved us so much that he died for our sins taking the punishment that we deserve we was buried and roast and burned to death according to the bible if you truly believe and trust this in your heart receive jesus alone as your savior declaring jesus is lord you will be saved judgment and spend eternity with god in heaven glory be to god hallelujah saints i trust that we all learn something about the bema seat of judgment glory be to god so we all need to be ready glory be to god hallelujah saints read your scriptures hallelujah Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I will choose grace. I will choose love. I choose to serve. I'll give my heart. I give my life. I'll give my heart to you. Some days are hard, and I'll fight to see the truth. But I'm gonna take a stand in all I do and say. I will choose Christ. I will choose love. I choose to serve. I give my heart. And I give my life. I give my heart to you. Hallelujah. Some fall it away. And some refuse to see. A willing and humble heart. I pray you find in me. I will choose Christ, I will choose love, I choose to serve, and I give my heart, I give my life, I give my heart to you, you are grace, you were peace, you were hope and dealing, you were faith, you were joy, you were God revealing Jesus, my Lord and King. Say, I will choose Christ, I will choose love. I choose to serve. I give my heart. I give my life. I give my heart to you. 
Hallelujah. I give my heart to you. Glory to your name, Jesus. And I give my heart to you. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. Saints, remember, it doesn't matter the title that's, that we have. Remember, the church is a fivefold ministry. Whether you're a pastor, whether you're a bishop, whether you're a teacher, whether you're an evangelist, whether you're a prophet, that's a fivefold ministry. It all boils down. We are all servants of God and we need to serve. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We are his workman in his vineyard, in his field. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So choose to serve. Saints, choose to serve him. Glory be to God. For God is coming and he will separate the sheep from the goats. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Anyhow, saints, enjoy the rest of your night god bless you god love you god keep you make his face to shine upon you cover you with his anointing glory be to god remove yourself from sinning unto righteousness glory be to god walk right talk good be safe shalom hallelujah